Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about enzyme kinetics, um, just some of the very basics. And here I have a uh, very common graph that you should become very familiar with, where the x-axis is representing a particular concentration of a substrate, and then the y-axis is um, the velocity at which a particular enzymatic reaction is occurring. And so you get this um, very typical curve for enzymatic activity. And the curve is, is really just the rate at which that reaction is occurring. So first I'm just going to draw just, you know, I think it's helpful to have a basic visual for to make sure we're very clear on everything that we're talking about and we're all on the same page. So let's say I have a, a particular enzyme and here's the active site of the enzyme and then this little uh, red circle represents uh, the substrate. And so with this little visual aid over here, um, let's go ahead and dive in on uh, what information we can get from this graph. So we already know that the curve of this graph represents the uh, rate of an enzymatic reaction. And this area, this flat area where the curve sort of plateaus, is actually the maximum velocity, or V max, at which the enzymatic reaction is occurring. So let's draw that in here. And it is at this maximum velocity that we know that all available enzymatic sites for the amount of enzyme that we have are saturated with um, substrate in their active site. So this is the point of saturation. So all along this curve on the way to the plateau where all the enzymes are saturated, we know that active sites on enzymes are still being filled with substrate. So there's still potential for an increase in the rate at which enzymatic reactions are occurring. Another key point along the curve is the point at which you've reached half of this maximum velocity. So half Vmax, which if we just look along the y-axis and kind of eyeball, around here would be where we would find half of our maximum velocity. And that is called half Vmax. And the point at which you've reached half of your maximum velocity is interesting because you can find a corresponding concentration of substrate at that point. And this particular substrate concentration is called the Km. And all Km is is the concentration of substrate at half Vmax. And the Km, the particular value of Km, reflects the affinity of the enzyme for its substrate. We'll make a note of that over here. And just to clarify what affinity is, is affinity describes the likelihood that this substrate will come into contact with the active site of the enzyme. So the greater the affinity, the more likely this reaction is going to occur. And if we know that Km reflects the affinity between the enzyme and, and substrate, we can deduce that as Km decreases, affinity increases. Or in other words, the greater the affinity between enzyme and substrate, the lower the concentration at which you can achieve Vmax. So let's uh, draw, try to draw a curve that represents this. So this new curve demonstrates a particular enzyme and substrate pairing in which there's greater affinity between the enzyme and the substrate. And so if there's greater affinity between the substrate and enzyme, we can see that, again, at half Vmax, there is a Km that corresponds to a lower concentration of substrate. So the lower Km value corresponds to increased affinity. Now another key point to take home from this is that Vmax is directly proportional to the enzyme concentration. In other words, as the concentration of enzyme decreases, the Vmax, or max velocity, also decreases. A directly proportional relationship. So let's again draw what this would look like. So as you can see, the affinity for the enzyme, or the Km at half Vmax doesn't necessarily change um, as the enzyme concentration decreases, but you'll see it reflected instead in the velocity at which the curve plateaus and at which you have saturation, so the Vmax is lower.